Hello, users, and welcome back to Path of the Exiles. So it is, as of this recording, July 12th. I haven't played this game in a few weeks. And I uploaded all of the videos up until 75. And I was like, you know what? I'm out of videos. I gotta do more. So here I am, drinking alcohol once again. Not my cup, by the way. I just spilled that all over me. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Off to a great start. <laughs> Off to a great start! The music is Muppet Race Mania. Uh, for the Sony PlayStation, this is Restaurant. The specific level. And uh, yeah, so it's been a while since i played Path of Exile. It's been a while since I've done these videos. I've uploaded all the videos. And I just want to say thank you for all the replies. A lot of them have been a lot nicer than I thought they would be. Um, uh, and just so you know, I do not remember any of the content that I talked about. Um, really at all. Um, I wrote down, I have like a little text file. The, the shit growing, like like in the daycare in Pokemon, like while I was not playing. Um, I have like a little text file, like where after every episode I would write down kind of like the topics I would do. Um, and that way I didn't have to rewatch the videos. That way I could just not rewatch the videos because that's cringe. And if I rewatch the videos, I wouldn't upload them because Jesus fucking Christ, right? Like, what the fuck? Would anyone actually upload this shit if they actually watched it beforehand? I don't think so. Um, so. Did I kill them all? Oh, wait, no, there's one right there. But yeah, um, I'm drinking again tonight. I don't know what that, there was a noise. Hold up. Alright, I think something fell somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> like, I really don't know, so I'm sorry. I'm pretty drunk right now. I've been drinking for the last, like, hour and a half. I was planning on starting these videos about an hour ago, and then I realized, oh shit, I need to update the game. LOL! Uh, I updated it a few days ago, because I was like, I'm going to do Path again this week, because I'm running out of videos, and I, I went to go play it, and there was an update, so fuck me. Uh, that is a request, by the way, not a statement or a, an expression. But either way, um, I, you know, I got owned. So now here I am, freshly drunken. What is this? Storage tank. I don't, what do I do with that? I don't know what to do with that. I'm going to put this away. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm just chilling. Um, it's been a lot of fun over the last weeks watching people react to Path of the Exiles. Uh, I've gone on with a lot more of the in-depth content of a lot of my history, my childhood, a lot of that stuff. I don't know if I'm going to get into that again. I don't know. If there's any questions, I mean, maybe you can ask, I guess. But I mean, I don't know what I'm going to talk about in these videos. I really don't. I just don't. There's no way to know. Uh, and I don't know how many I'm going to do in this section. It's only nine. So I should be able to make a couple. You know, probably I want to do at least five. That's kind of like the goal is at least five videos per drunken session. That's good. You know, a couple hours. Fuck you, matriarch. But yeah, hopefully I can finish act five here. I mean, almost done the first half of the game. That's cool. I hope this music is good. This music has definitely accompanied me on a lot of my major journeys throughout YouTube.com. What a classic tune. God frickin' bless. But yeah, um... I don't quite know what to talk about. So I'm just playing this game and I'm, I'm drunk. I'm not, you know, completely wasted or anything, but... I'm definitely drunk, so... God, it takes so long for that portal effect. But yeah, I mean, I'm definitely drunk. That's like, that goes without saying, actually. What do I, what else is there? Stib Knight. I'll take the Stib Knight. I usually use Stib Knights. They're actually relatively good. Stib Knights give you a uh, smoke cloud that increases your evasion rating. 25% increased effect. Immunity to bleeding. I'll take that. Actually, that's pretty fucking good. Huh? Damn, immunity to bleeding. Like, usually, like, I'm not, like, I'm not rolling anything. You know what I'm, like, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna roll anything. I'm sorry. It's just that that's a huge thing. It, it's so early in the game 
that I don't really need to wear like roll anything. I mean, I don't need, like I don't have death penalties yet. So it's like maybe when I get death penalties, I'll start or, uh, I'll start rolling stuff, but I don't really need to do that until I get death penalties. So, whatever. All right, so what do I need to do? Death to purity. So I need to go this way, I guess. But yeah, once I get to act 6, which hopefully will be today or tonight, uh, I'll start rolling some stuff. But yeah, I mean, I guess in this video I can talk about uh, a lot of the recent stuff. I mean, the last few recordings I've done um, were, again, in, in late late June. So it's been a little bit since I've done any of these recordings. And again, I mean, my channel has been growing exponentially, quite significantly, the, compared to what I'm used to. I'm used to maybe gaining a new follower like once a month. <laughs> Um, because I've never really tried to do YouTube in any sort of, like, grand way. I've never really attempted YouTube as a game itself. I've never really gone like, you know, I'm gonna do YouTube. I've always just done my own thing and just stuck to myself. But, you know, did that online or in public in a way. Um, and so I'm really just definitely not used to doing this kind of stuff where like actual people might watch it like I'm really used to drinking alone in front of like 10 people maximum and then like eight of those people will not remember anything because like it was so uneventful like whereas now I'm like getting to the point where like I get like these right-wing losers that are like trolling me quote-unquote like you know like oh oh I got trolled right like there probably might be one in the premiere chat right now you know it's totally possible but like, it, these people are just weird, man. Like, they just, like, they do this thing where, like, oh, I'm gonna epic troll you, and it's just super strange stuff. Like, I really just... It's so bizarre. Like, it really, 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 really is. Just the absolutely... Just the the most bizarre shit, I mean. I, I don't know. Huh? But, you know, thank you for sticking in here. If you're a new viewer, I mean, there's a lot to undo here. This is... This channel is not something to, like, kind of dip your toes into. I mean, I guess you can. I mean, I'll, you know, do whatever you want, obviously. But uh, there's a lot here. Like, I, I do a lot of different things. Uh, I'm a video gamer and a politician. Uh, <laughs> politician in the non in the literal sense of, uh, I like politics and I like talking about it. Uh, I'm not an idiot. But that has been, like, the focus of my channel a lot for the last six months, seven months now. And it's been really interesting seeing all these kind of people, like, enter the space and, like, they don't play video games or they have no familiarity with video games. I'm getting a lot of, like, Gen Xers and older Millennials checking me out, too, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're, like, you know, people that, like, are just complete different shift in, in experience and upbringing and life and stuff. So that's been a lot of fun. Uh, just interacting with a lot of people. I've been appreciating it quite a bit. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm a gamer. You know, I'm a young kid. I'm, I'm 24 years old as of this recording. I know there's going to be a time where, like, I'm, like, 60 and I'm watching these videos and I'm writing my memoirs and it's like, holy fucking shit, man. Like, how, where did the time go, right? But I don't have to worry about that for another 40, 35 years or something. So, like, we're good. But, um, my apologies to future Andrea. Oh, God. Right? Like, holy shit. But yeah, um... I, you know, I do a lot of different stuff, and I try to, like, I've been, one of the things that I've been doing a lot lately, in my attempts, have been to combine the approachability of pol political videos and non-gaming videos with gaming videos. So the two series that I decided to do that with were Path of the Exiles and Let Us Play. I decided to do the Halo multiplayer videos, um, but not really talk about Halo, and then I decided to make that its own series called Halo and Chill where I tackle different kinds of subjects. That's non-drunk. That's like sober, usually. Also, as you can tell, I'm, I'm skipping a little bit here. Um, so that's definitely non-drunk. Whereas this is like Path of the Exiles. Like this game is boring, like just straight up. This is a boring, if you're not playing this game, it is boring. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna turn the capture, cur cur capture cursor off because that really annoys me when I make thumbnails for this these videos. I always got the cursor in there, and it just it looks cringy. So, sorry. Now the cursor's gone. Um, right? That's cool. Yeah, I've been trying to wean people into 
my 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 passions that are outside of political stuff because like this is what I spend a lot of my time on and I haven't spent as much time as I used to I used to like you know I used to be a live streamer and I would play like this shit for like 12 hours up to 16 hours a day and that used to just be what I did every single day and it was just really unfulfilling so I stopped doing that but Maybe I should do like more of an expanded uh, online-centric history. I don't know. I, I've been on YouTube for 10 years. That's a long time. Since I was 14. Like thinking about that, right? Like that's weird. I've been on YouTube since I was 14 years old. Now, throughout most of YouTube for me, I you know I would upload like one video every few months. You know, like that kind of shit. But you know, account creation date. That's the birthday. I'm eating a protein bar. That's my dinner today, because I'm drinking. I decided, you know what? I'm just going to have a protein bar for dinner. But. but yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've definitely revolutionized my online presence in a way that I never thought I would do. And it's really cool. Like, it's really, really, really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to a lot of new people. That was one of the main reasons why I wanted to try YouTube in the first place, was to meet new people, because I had no friends when I was a kid. If you've watched previous videos, you know how lonely I was when I was a child. But um, I had no friends as a kid, and one of the main reasons I started YouTube was just to, like, meet new people. And that's definitely been something that, like, as a goal, I kind of lost for a while. And I've been definitely doing that a lot more. I've been meeting a lot of new people I've made a lot of new friends and it's just been fantastic especially during this time of coronavirus like this time of coronavirus is like man this fucked my life up a little bit you know like definitely like I had plans you know you know and corona's just fucked me and and it's fucked me in a way that is not resembling the good dick way like I'm not getting off you know it's not making me horny you know, it's not making me come. I'm just getting fucked. You know, it's like, it's just not good. So, um, but I, 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 you know, it's one of those things where it's like, who knows as an era, I'm glad I got into politics when I did, because who knows, like if, if anything is going to go back to normal, um, like there's really no way to, to know that if things are going to go back to normal, I, like, I, I don't know. Um, uh, we're all just like, especially in the United States. Um, a lot of the people I talk to are non-American. Some of my closest, um, some of the closest people in my life are not from America. Um, and so, like, it, it's one of those things where it's like, damn, I really got unlucky <laughs> by being born into this shitfuck country. God, it really does suck. Like, it's awful. Because, like, Europe right now, as of this recording at least, is that the point where, like, everyone can go outside and basically do whatever they want? Like, just wear a mask because that's normal in Europe. Like, people in Europe believe in germs. Like, oh, don't get me started, man. But it's like, these motherfuckers in America, they don't believe in germs. Like, I made a video about this a while ago, and I cite this all the time. 55% of Republicans don't believe in germs. They have done... This, now the poll, the, the where I get this from is 55% of Republicans asked in swing states said that they have done nothing to prepare or to prevent COVID-19. And if they are doing nothing to prevent COVID-19, that just means that they do not believe in germs. That is the direct English translation is that they do not believe in germs. Like, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't buy into this kind of like whole thing hold up I'm trying to write down the titles I guess I'm just talking about corona here but um but it's just it's wild to me that like I'm in a country where 55 a majority of one of the two major political parties don't believe in germs. Like, I've, d I've done some research into this, and the germ theory of disease 
was first postulated in the 11th century, right? Like, and it's been built upon, you know, over time ever since then. And it's like, we've had a thousand years of the germ theory of disease, you know, being like an idea. A thousand years. And it's like we have 55% of a major political party that don't believe in germs. Which amounts to like 30% of America just doesn't believe in germs. They just don't. 55, like, or like 20, 30, 20 to 30% of Americans don't believe in germs. I should honestly just say that. Like, <laughs> that's a more accurate kind of, like, like, it's just, it, it's fucking wild, man. And, I, you know, is it, is talking to a lot of Europeans, you know, it's like the stark, like, don't get me wrong. Europeans are stupid, right? Like, I'm not, you know, like, you know, the Europeans are fucking dumb. Like, they're the dumbest motherfuckers, right? Well, I guess they're not the dumbest motherfuckers because America exists. But, like, they're pretty fucking stupid. Huh? And so it's just, like, it's weird to me, though. Like, the stupidest European is still, like, 30 to 40 IQ points higher than the stupidest American. And that's the thing that like like the fascist parties in Europe, right? Like they're fascists, right? But like that doesn't mean that they don't believe in climate change, right? Like that's the thing is like eco-fascism is definitely something we have to be on the on the lookout for. But it's like I, you know, it, it's wild to me like that you know, they're fascists in America and they don't believe in germs and it's like okay. But then the fascists in Europe believe in germs and on a level that makes them more dangerous. <laughs> You know, like, okay, they actually believe in germs. So, like, most people will be like, okay, they don't believe in germs. So, let's just ignore them. Whereas, like, in America, like, relatively high percentage of the population is like, oh, Republicans don't believe in germs. Let's just ignore them. Um, and so... But in Europe, I mean, they at least believe in germs. And that's a blessing and a curse for Europeans, right? But where the fuck am I, by the way? Holy shit. But yeah, I don't know, man. Living in America during the era of COVID, and I might die. Like, that's the thing. I fully... I've gotten to the point where I am content with the fact that I might die. Well, I'm not content with it in the sense where I'm not going to agitate against it, of course. But, like, I've I've come to terms with it. At least, you know, until I get COVID. I've, like, if I did get COVID, which is 1,000% possible, it's spreading rapidly in my city. You know, my city does not follow the mask mandates. Huh? Like, I'm, there's a good chance I'm going to die. There's, like, a good chance I'm going to get COVID, and there's a relatively high chance I might die. Like, and I'm, I'm at the point where it's like, okay, you know, all right. You know, I might as well enjoy life until that happens. And so that's just been kind of my main thing. It's like, I just want to live life until it happens. I know it's going to happen. You know, my town, I live in North Carolina. Like, when I first moved to North Carolina, I was like, it can't be that bad. <laughs> Right? Like, yeah, sure, they want to murder trans people there, but it's like, okay, I can deal with that. You know, I pass kind of well. You know, I don't really have to worry about being assaulted in public too often, right? Like, I can I can deal with it. But then it's like, oh, North Carolina, they don't believe in germs. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, okay, that changes everything. <laughs> and I know, it's funny. It's funny as hell. But it really is just so just indicative of this culture that we have. Where it's like, imagine being a centrist in the era of, like, debating the germ theory of disease. It's like, oh yeah, I mean, I kind of believe in germs, but, like, the germs aren't that bad. You know, like, imagine being one of those motherfuckers. Like, Jesus Christ, right? Like, oh my god, you know? Like, what the fuck, right? Like, but, like, there's people in here that, like, they, they, they're, they're germ centrists. You know, like, they just don't know. <laughs> they just, like, okay, germs might exist. But are they that dangerous? Hmm. Right? Like, it's like... What? But no, they're here. Like, you know, they live among us. <laughs> oh, it's depressing, but... What are you gonna do? If you live here, you just gotta get... You gotta get used to it. You know, like, I'm, I've been doing this thing where I read obituaries... Of people that didn't believe in COVID... Dying of COVID. 
You know, like their Facebook posts of like, I don't believe in this. Uh, it ain't real. It's not real. I'm not never wearing a mask. If I wear a mask, it's like the CCP is in my beaming into my brain. You know, these people are dumb as, and like, and when I say dumb as fuck, like, your understanding of the term dumb as fuck does not even like multiply that by like at least thirty trillion. Like these people are dumber than fuck. You know, like they don't believe. Like it's just like it's it's. Uh, you know, there's no words in the English language that can properly and succinctly, with good accuracy, summarize the stupidity of the American right wing. It really is like it's just, and it's weird to live during these times because, like, as a kid, we're we're taught. You know, I'm 24, so keep this in mind. But as a kid, we're taught, oh, racism ended, it's over. You know, we have germs, we have basic science, and then it's like, okay, I'm an adult now, and it's like, okay, the Black Lives Matter protests are the largest civil rights movement in history. It's like, okay, I thought racism didn't exist anymore. I don't know why we had to, you know, increase the response to racism if racism stopped existing. And then we've got coronavirus, which is like, oh, so I guess a, a majority of Americans just don't really believe in germs then. Okay. It's like everything we were taught in school is just wrong. Bunk. Just what a waste of 20 years of my life. What a waste. Like, and that's the thing. It's like I wasted 20 years. I went to school every day. In my school, maybe I'll talk about this in, in other videos, but my school was terrible to me. Like I, I had chronic illness as a kid and my, and my school harassed me over it. Um, to the point, you know, they wouldn't believe doctor's notes. They would, oh, did you forge this? And they would like, and like my mom was dumb and we didn't have a lawyer or anything. So it's like, okay, whatever. Um, but it's like, you know, like I, and I did, I had to go through all this trauma over school. And then it turns out I learned nothing. <laughs> right? Like it turns out like I wasted all this trauma. You know, I wasted all of my fucking emotional well-being. And not only did all like it was a rock, but I got nothing. Like I got nothing. Like I learned more on YouTube in reading books than I ever did in any fucking school class. I learned nothing in school and it's just like, wow. Like again, it's, it's fucking crazy how stupid people are in America. And again, I grew up in New Jersey. I say this a lot. So it's not like I grew up in North Carolina. I grew up in New Jersey. Like, in New Jersey. New ass motherfucking Jersey. You know, like, it's in the Northeast. People think that, like, those are the most, like, you know, well-adjusted American citizens. No. Nope. At least not of the, the aughts. The aughts were a terrible time to be a kid. Jesus. But again, it's just like, there's kids growing up now. Like, right now, there's kids growing up. And it's like, the ability to, to see everything you learn in school is wrong. Like, just you log on to the internet, and then, like, everything you see tells you that, oh, yeah, everything you're learning in school is wrong. I can't imagine going, like, I went to school, like, as of, like, 14, you know? I was, I, I kind of got on to the idea that, yeah, school is fake. It doesn't matter. Like, this shit, I'm not, I'm not learning anything in school. To the point where I would just, like, fail all my exams just to read books in school. Like, I would tell my teachers, like, you're not teaching me anything. I'm just going to read this book instead. And they'd be like, all right, whatever. Right? But it's like... It's wild to me, like, the idea that kids right now, like, imagine being 13 in the era of Corona. And it's like, you know, you're going to school, and who knows, like, you might have this far right teacher. Who knows, right? And they might not believe in masks. I don't know, like, school is canceled, right? But like, you know, there's kids still here. So it's like there's, kid, like, there's kids that like stopped going to school in March or April, right? And they're just online all day. And they're just checking all this shit out. And then they go back to school, cause right, Betsy DeVos is gonna be like, yo bitch, you're going back to school, motherfucker. And then they go back to school and like, what if their teacher just doesn't believe in masks? And it's like, how the fuck do you have a teacher that doesn't believe in germs? <laughs> but it's like, that's totally possible, right? Like. Because, like, the system of, like, teaching is not based on intelligence. It's not based on anything other than, one, your ability to absorb propaganda. And then, two, your ability to teach others propaganda. That's it. That's what, like, a teacher is. That's the job description of a teacher. And, you know, it's, like, right? Like, 
Wow! Like, it, it, it again, it is just absurd. It is absurd. Because, like, I think back to my school, and it's like, damn. Like, there were a lot of dumbass teachers I had. That, like, I am smarter as a 24-year-old than a teacher I had who was, like, 60. You know, it's like, I am a more intelligent, more empathetic, more compassionate, more well-adjusted, like, individual than a teacher that was in their 60s when I was in high school. And it's like, what? Like, what? You know, it's like, like, right? You know, it's crazy, but it's just, that's just, you know, the era that we live in. Um, anyway, thank you for watching this video. Definitely stay tuned. This is like a new era of, um, of these videos. New drunken session. So again, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next one. And y'all have a good one. You hear? Like, seriously. If there's anything I want to tell you in these videos, it's I want you to enjoy life. Because who knows? I might die. I live in the South. So me dying, relatively high proposition. And if I do die, I want to have a positive net outcome on the world. And as a result, here I am. So, yeah. I love eating like one little bit of protein bar, like make it last hours. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. I'm fueling my body. <laughs>